Kevin got this track Then he passed His uncle's gonna jump on this track <laughs> Welcome back, BAP11 And today, we got a beat for Vinny Paz's uncle So stay tuned, let's get into the beat So if you've been watching for a few BAPs You know how we do We started with the keys Chords are just beautiful, right? Then, went to the counter melody That kind of played with the chords I love that play between keys when they're kind of like riffling, like a little river. It's just like... Okay, something a little bit different. I added one note from this Rhodes keyboard and it sounds like this. You know, it's one of those things where if someone's listening, they're not going to hear it, but it does make a little bit of a kind of atmospheric difference. So melodies, counter melodies, little atmosphere, time for the bass. Now this rhythm, it's got movement, okay? This bass is kind of moving your head. Move your head. I wanted that kind of strong punch. Next was the drums. Now, this is one of the beats where I'm most proud of the drums more than anything. Like melodies come naturally. Bass has been coming more naturally recently. When I sit down to do drums, it doesn't come out like this, but this time it came out like this. Inception. Hard hitting drums, you know, Vinnie Paz's uncle. You can imagine it's gonna be someone that is old school, boom bap, ready to tell like a military kind of story. Let's just listen to what we have all together. So again, this is for an artist, so I didn't want too many melodies and rhythms taken away from the future vocalist that will jump on this beat. Then we do variations of the chords, the melodies, we take them out, we mix it in. So there's a lot of arrangement. And then I have little breakdowns where I add my beautiful strings. So when I made these strings, I was imagining a live orchestra and the string section are literally, they're in the zone and they're kind of like, Accompanied with like that little arrangement there. Let's have a little listen how it just drops in from the beat So it's a nice little build up it's got a bit of emotion to it in between as well when the drums are dipping in and out I bring in some drum fills that I made super proud of them as well. So let's have a listen to one of the drum fills So what I'm noticing is when I use these fills, the best sound or the best development in arrangement is when you're taking elements out. In that section that we just heard, there's no kicks. And when that fill comes in, the kicks come back after that loop. So it's kind of a build up into, oh, oh, oh. So all of that is going well. Then at the end, it's kind of ends on this like pitched version of the sample with a movie sample in it as well. So we have a little listen to that little ending bit. And it's just kind of like credit scene, you know, where you've listened to a whole story and now you're just kind of left to think in your own thoughts. So we've come to that part again. If you're going to stick around to vibe, then let's vibe. But if you're not, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys on back 12. But everyone else, let's vibe with the beat and let's have a little listen.
gonna leave the link to the the full beat down below. But until the next episode, this has been Bat Eleven. It's your boy R Dev. Mm, I had a different type of struggle, sitting in my room making beats type of hustle. When they look at me, they think I am gonna stumble, but I kept making beats. Now I gotta stay humble. Wee. <laughs> Bat Twelve is gonna be a mad one.